Welcome back. So callers beware because scam artists calling your phone nonstop and robocalls is at an all-time high. Five billion were reported just last month, but there are new tech ways to prevent them. Billion with a B. Tech consultant Shelly Palmer joins us now with more on this. I think there's not much that we can all agree on, but we can all agree these are so annoying. There is some legislation pending and it should pass the Senate. We passed the House like 413 to three. <laughs> or four, so I'm wondering about who are the three congressmen right, exactly. who right. said, who you know, I love against? robocalls. I'm going to vote against this. Yeah. It should pass the Senate. Until then, because it'll be 18 months till the carriers are forced to implement the countermeasures. Here's the most important thing for this holiday season. Everybody hates robocalls. We know they come in. Robocalls now are not only at an all-time high, the scams are at an all-time cleverness, if you will. Hmm. Remember all those data breaches that have happened over the last year or so? Yeah. Equifax and all this, you hearing about all the large corporations that have been hacked and they've lost your, quote, private data. Some of that data finds its way out into the, what's called ominously the dark web. It's not that dark and it's not that hard to find. The scam artists are able to enrich their profiles so they will get information about what kind of mortgage you have, what kind of car you have. And this helps them legitimize the robocall where they used to just spray and pray. They'd buy yeah. a block of numbers and just willy nilly call every number. Now they're targeting phone numbers where they have more information. So you might get a call that says, we can lower your mortgage rate from, or the time of your mortgage, or your, your car might be due for a, whatever that is. If it sounds legit, it doesn't make it legit. And mm. so you should not only ignore robocalls completely, now when they sound authentic, do yourself a favor, hang up anyway, and then research whatever it is you think might have been legitimate. Because in practice, the scam artists are getting better. They know their days are numbered, I guess, but the, the data that's available outside that you wouldn't expect to be available is being used in a really unfortunate way. So my number one way that I deal with robocalls, I don't answer voice calls. I have yeah. voicemail. That's what it's for. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I, the caller ID, if I don't recognize it, I certainly won't answer. But really, how many voice calls do you get from people you don't know? Yeah. I realistically don't know that you very, didn't give your few, right? Yeah. So if they're yeah. on your contact yeah. list and it's not showing up in caller ID and at home, I would say 50% of the calls I get on my home number, who I give, I give my home number out to, to no one, right? That Those are almost all robocalls. So you don't need to answer a voice call if you've got voicemail. I wouldn't do it. And if you get a voicemail from a robot and it basically sounds legitimate, like it's talking about your mortgage, your car, some appliance you have, and there might be a repair problem. It's almost that's old. the scary thing, yeah, though, when it sounds so real and they're they going to sound realer than ever, Carrie. That's that is the problem. So do yourself a favor. The law is coming and it will help a little bit. But the number one way right now this holiday season is to be very, very vigilant and just go, hey, I'll do my own research. Thank you. So be yeah. vigilant all the time, but especially uh, during the holidays. Specifically, <laughs> yes. especially now. Thank you so much, Shelly. Great right. to see you and happy holidays to yes, you. Yes, you too. Yes, happy holidays. Yeah.